All right, now we're going to model out a small box with a lid. Okay, and we're going to do it two different ways here. We're going to work with polygons and we're working with booleans just to get acclimated with both. So hit N on the number pad or N on the keyboard and we're going to make this um, this whole thing, let's say 25 millimeters. I will go 30. 30 millimeters. And for the height of it, we'll shoot for 20. So we got this box. And what I'm going to do here is Shift D to duplicate the box. And I'm going to make this box, this new duplicate, um, Significantly smaller in some way. We'll go 25 by 25. And there we go. Now, if you hit 5 on a number pad, 1 on a number pad, and Z for wireframe, you have this. So I have a box within a box. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is hit Shift D and duplicate that one. Put it off to the side. I'll use that later. This one, the this box on the inside is called Cube 1. This one's called Cube. So for this one, I just go to the wrench and go Boolean. Difference. Cube 01. And hit Apply. So that cut into that box, and now if I hit Z... You can see that it's a box just like that. So in order for this box to fit in this one, uh, the thing is you have to have some kind of tolerance. Okay, The tolerance is too tight right now. It's a perfect hole to a perfect cube, and that's not going to work with plastic. Plastic can try, uh, it does all kinds of weird stuff when it dry heat kind of makes it swell and then when it cools it shrinks but it's very unpredictable so in order to um, counter this we're gonna go 24 point maybe 5 Now that fits down in there and it has a tolerance. So you can see that. I feel that that's still a little too tight. So we're going to go 24. Just like that. Because that would make 0.5 on both sides and 0.5 on both sides. All right, let's shrink this up. I just need a little lip. And what I'm going to do is grab a face. Well, let's see. Actually, Boolean would probably work better, right? So let's put this one over here. And we'll make this box the same width and depth as this one. So this one is 30, 30. This one is going to be 30, 30. and 10. Alright, I'm going to go back to 1 on the number pad, Z, and I'll put this box right directly over the top of this one. Again, you can line this up in the top using 7 on the number pad and 1 and 3 on the number pad. So essentially I have this. So as long as these two are touching, I'm going to take this one and this one. This one is called cube one. This one, we're going to go boolean, union, Q1, 
cube one and hit apply. Delete the little one. So now I have a lid and I have a box and what I'm gonna do, it this seems really thick, this top. I'm gonna to just kinda of jump into edit mode, grab these vertices, W on the keyboard and move them down. Then I'll flip it around using rotate. Again, I'm in object mode here. Always be watching that down there below this object edit mode if you're really new to 3D. And the rotation here, I'm going to make that a perfect 180. So what I would do is export both of these models out. First, apply rotation and scale to each model. That will zero out the scale, zero out the rotation. Then export these as still, and then net fab them. So run this as a job, and bring me the little box. Enjoy.